What's going on you guys? This is MXKDI. I have another Dell Optiplex 3020 small foam factor and I'll go upgrading the processor. Show you guys how to do that. Let me unzoom the video. So there'll be two screws, thumb screws right here on the side. Remove that. I'll just unscrew them. And remove the side cover panel. Now a little plastic fan shroud. You're gonna press on the clips over here. One the bottom right here, one at the top. It comes right off. Yeah, this uh, little plastic clip fan shroud is designed to let the heat generate inside, but it comes out from the back. That's how they made it. Pretty cool. So it just uh, sucks out from here from the cool air, like like this, and it comes out from the back. So it's pretty cool. From Dell. Oh, now you need a Phillips screwdriver, and though before uh, you're gonna disconnect the uh, heat sink. Now, the little four pin for the fan cooler right here, you clip on it, you can and secure lock. You're gonna press on it to release the lock. Just like that right here. Press on it to release the fan. It's a four, it's a four pin connection. And and we're gonna remove the we're gonna be upgrading another processor right here and it just remove the old one. It's just there's a clip right here. Press uh looks like it's a secure we'll take to the right a little clip and release the secure lock. And it comes right out like that, real easy. And you're gonna install the new 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 processor is the same way the way you put the old one, took out the old one, is uh, there'll be the edges right here, the top one, and one in on the right right here. And there's the one right here that's gonna be the top left and right edges right here, you can see. So just install just like that. Really easy. And secure it. Just like that. Now what we're gonna do is clean up the heat sink. See the old thermal compound here? We're gonna clean it off. And what you need is uh, you get a credit card and scrape off the, the old thermal compound. But make sure when you do that you you want to have like some kind of piece of paper here because you don't want to have a thermal compound going to the motherboard. Scrape that off. And now I use a, just a paper towel like a quality paper towel, take off the thermal compound. If your thermal compound doesn't come off really well, then you could just use a 70% rubbing alcohol or 50% rubbing alcohol to take it off. So I did take it out, this looks good to me. Looks like new. And I'm gonna apply the new thermal compound. The easiest way is uh, you're gonna put the thermal compound right here in the middle and use a credit card to spread it like this. Spread it around. Because like, if you oh, you could do that in the processor first, but either way it's the same thing. It's it'd be a lot easier if you put it on the, on the heat sink. It's gonna be harder to do it over there. But uh so you just put a thermal compound, I'll show you guys uh really easy. On the heat sink, like that in the middle. Not too much. Then, and you're gonna use a credit card or just to spread it around in the middle, actually. So, just like really easy. So you, yep, in the middle. But you don't want to put too much on it. This is perfectly fine like that. And you're going to reinstall it back. The heat sink. But either way, so we're just going to reconnect the heat sink.
make sure they're tight, the H crew is tight because you don't want to, if they're not tight, they may, you're not going to be probably, uh, it's not going to be good, uh, good uh, thermocal, it's the heat sink is not going to, you have to like get them, all the screws here, the two in the bottom, two in the top. And do the bottom one, the left side. And then check the, the, the top, and this one's secure, locked. Perfectly. Now I'm just gonna reinstall the flange shroud here, it looks like. And connect the side cover panel. Oh, we forgot. There's a, I forgot to show you guys, sorry about that. There's a four pin connection right here. You have to connect it back to the motherboard, otherwise you get a warning message by it says your fan is not connected, CPU fan. It's a four pin connected right back, don't forget. Because I forgot to connect it, so I'm going to connect it right, it's right in the top. Now I'm going to install back the fence out of here. Really easy. This is for the Dell Optiplex 3020 small phone factor. And we're going to put the cuss. Just put back the side cover panel here and just close it. So yeah guys, this is the end of the video. This is for Dell Optiplex 3020 small phone factor. Thanks for watching. Bye.